Hello, I'm going to show you how to turn on alternative language input sources such as alternative keyboard input methods. The first thing that you'll do is go to either system preferences down here in the dock or you can click on the Apple icon and then click on system preferences. Next you will click on language and text then input sources. Here I highly recommend you check keyboard and character viewer and I will explain why shortly. Notice that the US option is checked by default. So what you will do is scroll down through this list and then click all of the languages that you would like to add. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to pick languages that I speak like Portuguese, Spanish. I highly recommend that you install the US International PC. The International Keyboard provides some accent addition codes which are much much simpler to use than typing in some of the codes that you may have used before. For Russian students here at UWL, the Russian phonetic keyboard is the keyboard that you should use. Once you have selected all of those keyboard methods and make sure that you have checked keyboard and character viewer, then you can close the system preferences box. And notice that we have a flag up here that has appeared in the top right hand corner. Click that flag and now you can choose between all of the different keyboard methods that you have input. So let's choose Russian phonetic. If you don't know what keys will show up on the Russian phonetic keyboard, then the best way to learn is to click the flag again and click on show keyboard viewer. This shows you all of the letters and the order that they appear on the keyboard. So notice when you're typing, it highlights the letter that you're typing as you go. This is a much, much simpler method to use to learn some of these new keyboard types. Now for using the international keyboard, notice that it has highlighted in orange a few of the symbol characters. If you press the shift key, it changes the ones that are highlighted. These are all some of the tools that you can use to add accented characters. For example, pressing the apostrophe key plus any letter will accent that letter. The apostrophe key plus C will give you C sedilla. If you hold down the shift key, and press any of these symbols then you can also use them. For example, we can add the tilde to the N to produce an Ñ in Spanish. Hold down the shift key and press the quotation marks to add the umlaut in German. By far the easiest thing to use for accented characters that use the Latin alphabet is the international keyboard. Beyond that, you should make use of some of the keyboard options up here. Again, you can go to System Preferences, Language and Text, and Input Sources in order to choose which keyboards you would like to use. You can also change whether or not the entire computer will use this new keyboard, or if you would like the changes to only affect a particular document that you have open at that time. I personally find it easier to leave the option use the same one in all documents selected.